Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. Bags. Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal, it seems to be coming from within the rubble. Spiderbot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. Oh fuck, it looks like my mum after quiz night. <laughs> what happened to it though? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction.
Perfect. Two more data relays to go. data relay and I'll have it. Just take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. All right, cool. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back, thief? Don't trust the Kelly dog.
Oh my days, you telling me clan killy gangsters done the bombing? Looks more like a handoff, like the Kellys weren't providing supplies. Cos, look, they clearly ain't with Clan Kelly. Does that mean they're with Zero Day? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bags, who was controlling that spider bot? Do a scan or something. I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Fuck me. The man had eyes on this while it went down. That's heavy. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. Yo, what if we could just, like, quantum leap through this shit, huh? That'd be wicked. Quantum tunnel technology's at least ten years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Ah, uh, bless, bruv. in those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo. Yeah, got it. RDX nitrogen and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Ah, oh, that's Zero Day's signature. There, hurry. Got all the deliveries. So you were hired to supply all the targets? Shut it. We're all on need to know. Zero Day had multiple crews running this ship. Kelly's were just a cog. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more.
Tracing the Spinobot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. Ah, oh, it's fucking bullshit, man. The Fed knew it wasn't dead, so that did the bobbins, but they kept letting everyone believe it. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. But while he's still kept. Think you are, I'm thinking, Bagley. According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Must be a way to ID the last user. Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. I've got this. That opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now.
Buggery fuck, would you look at all this junk? You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next bent opening. decided they couldn't be trusted to do their jobs. Suddenly some corporation could clean up our streets better than the same police force we've had for who knows how long. When crime fighting is treated like a business, crime will never go away. That would be bad for business, right? But don't tell me Albion has our best interests at heart. So your way through this last bent path. I'll have it. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Fine. you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. This fucking rabbit hole just goes deeper and deeper, doesn't it? Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. Your somewhat reckless teammate has got themselves thrown in the old clink, I'm afraid. Difficult to resist oppression from behind bars. It will be a while before they're available. Pro tip, however, why not recruit a barrister to the team? I mean, no one exactly likes a barrister, but they do have their function. They should be able to shorten the jail time of imprisoned operatives. Thanks. Little help here. How do I get in? I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. It's definitely out of the way. Perfect spot to do some off-the-book shit. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames.
Well, fuck. We've got ourselves a rogue cop shop. Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch, too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. Enough to follow a lead all the way to the tone bombing. What do you think, Bagley? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved. And they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these... Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Fuck. Now being thrown in with the Kellys, waiting on the bloody lizard people to join the conspiracy. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clank Kelly and Albion included. Well, I'm not sitting on my ass while they go on abducting people off the street. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth.